I try to be as helpful as I can. That's the stuff I got. There's some of the material right here. There's a whole bag of it that she'll never ever need. And it's a dude in the UK. I don't know if you can't, you can't buy it. I'm not going to say I was going to say. Send me a self addressed envelope and I'll put a wad in there. Uh, there's where. And there's the phone number with extension. I got it on Amazon, I think. Pause it, get that info. So, this is the new style. I think this is probably what maybe somebody's asking about replacing, which really probably is going to be pretty easy. We'll see. This is the old style, which is all the more reason to grab some of that catalyst because this is way better than this new style garbage. And then <clears throat> I had to fabricate that piece in there. After I packed that because I don't know where it went, but I lost a copper piece like the one that's in there. That's the kind that's in the old style. And then a new style. It's just even probably cheaper. So I'm just going to pop these out. Let's check that out real quick. See if I can help somebody. See if I can help somebody. All right, I just popped all them out. <clears throat> just with a nail. Make sure I used the back of it, a couple of them. So this is the way old style is. Bent up on an angle there. And that's what I made that one look like. And here we go. This is the new garbage. Seriously. What the bloody hell is that crap? So, I didn't plan on going through all this garbage, but I'm going to pack some regular catalyst in this thing. That's probably why this thing... Oh. So, that's the new style, and the top of my cotton's burnt. And that's the newest one I have. I've had these, I'm not kidding, coming up on 12 years. I mean, 10 years, a decade. I got them in 2012. That one. That one. I mean, they still look freaking brand new. What the heck? That one's already burnt looking. And all these are full. I mean, these are all, I got like five of them at the same time. They're like on sale for eight bucks or something. So, as you can tell, I already did this one and that one, because they're just little pieces. And that's it. That's pretty self-explanatory. Fill this up. Push that garbage in there like that. Sorry. Even if it's coming out a little bit, it doesn't really matter. Because it's all intertwined together. And then just... Like that. You get the hint. I got it in, actually. Alright, and... in that's it done that's how you do that <clears throat> this one here I mean you know still got some cross pieces nothing's gonna fall out just put a nice big wad in the middle and a couple smaller ones on the edge so I'm gonna dump this see ya and uh, just grab a couple pieces of this out of here It's actually stiff and decent. Okay, cool. So, all right, I'm going to put this down and just cram some of that in there. And you don't want to put too much in there because, like, I guess the air still has to kind of circulate through it. All right, be right back. All right, and I would suggest if you use that stuff, wear a mask. I mean, I'm out in the garage. So, <clears throat> I don't care. All right, so... Stuck some in there. And I just put a little extra in there because 
you can just pull it right out the top. The hole's so gaping big. So, put this sucker back in there. And, you know, I'm going to load it up right now and see if I can get it lit. So, I got some fluid right there. So, I'll be right back. All right. <clears throat> okay, I have... I just put six hours of fluid in there. And I like to take this and then take the stem and push the cotton down as far as I can. If you can see, I got it pushed back. And I'll push it again when I fill it up. So... I'll push it in and dump it down. Now All right. So now I filled it up and I have it pushed in. You can see that the cotton wadding's pushed back in. I, this doesn't even feel like the same stuff as this. This actually seems more wool, cottony like. <clears throat> this is more fibrous, like this garbage here. I have a couple, a couple more of these brand new in the package. Maybe I'll rip one of these apart and look inside. I don't want to trash my shit. It's not like I'm getting paid. Um, but trying to help you guys. That's cool. So, all right. And then I like to put the cap on. And I just like, actually, that's not true. I'll take that off. I like to put the lid back on. And then bang it upside down a couple times and bring that wadding back to the top. So, kind of like. This. With all of them. And as you can see, the wadding comes back up to the top. It's level. So, six hours of fuel. Catalyst with the. Uh, catalyst instead of that fiber thing there you go I got some off with my finger right now. this stuff doesn't burn ow I mean it doesn't burn when you light on fire it burns the hell out of your fingers just kidding <clears throat> alright I'm going to fire that up and I'll be right back yeah, you got to really hang it hold it upside down but <clears throat> let me try to get it started here just a little bit Turn upside down. Try to get it on an angle the way you're supposed to. Alright, and we're lit. Yeah, things getting warm. And <clears throat> I was only off camera for probably not even 30 seconds, really. Now that's packed pretty good. And actually, you know. I might repack my other ones, so. No smoke. Oh, man, things getting nice and warm and toasty, too. I mean, today's like the first cold day. It's like November 13th or 14th, maybe. Yep, that's nice. So, F that stuff. You lost your thing. It's not hard to make. Man, it's nice and warm. Hmm. And put these back together. Now, ideally, <clears throat> since these have all been used already, that's why I only put six hours in here. Um, but I think it says in the instructions that the first time you use it, you're supposed to do it for 12 hours. So, hope that helps people. Hope that helps you guys save some money. Hope it costs Zippo some money because they're not paying me to do anything. And if your Zippo hand warmers last longer than they're supposed to, then guess what? They're losing money. Amen. Have a good one. I don't mean that amen, though. Later.